Back for handicap division title match action, at Isleta Fun Connection, South End Albuquerque. We got a first time finalist in Cesar Duran, that's him on camera right now, taking on the defending New Mexico Texas Invitational champion, Morgan Ellis. He's also on fire lately, having just won in Lubbock uh, last month, so looking to make it two in a very short period of time. But uh, Duran has been tough. Well, that's a lot of nine right there, leaving the solid one. Um, <laughs> Morgan's got a win by 31 to tie and 32 to win. As it stands right now, she's uh, trailing in the match. So, as Duran has come out spare double, opened in the fourth, and now leaves the head pin in the fifth. So, terrific start for Duran. And Morgan's got her work cut out for her in the back half of this game, but he's going to miss the head pin. So, back to back opens just what the doctor ordered for Morgan to have a chance to crawl back in this match. She's got to fill her own frame because she went nine missing her fourth. Any age and any average can do our tournaments. It's not just the good kids. Morgan obviously knows what she's doing having won an invite. Caesar, beginning bowler, throwing a house ball down the middle. So if you're not good, think you're not good enough, you're wrong. Let a house ball. If you think you're not old enough, you're wrong. Come on out here and give this a try. Have fun with us. Morgan, another tough cluster. When the lanes are dry, it's really easy to chop something off. Uh, one, three, six, nine. Thirty-one to tie. Right now, even with the spare, trails by eleven on the scoreboard, but she's not going to get the spare either. And we have one Ellis in trouble. One Ellis mama not happy about it. One Ellis Papa just sitting back and taking it all in. He's very low key. One Ellis brother couldn't care less, I guess. He's gone. Yeah, he, he gone. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, listen, Morgan Morgan does not have any give up in her. She's going to try her best the rest of the way here. And six, seven, eight, nine, ten is plenty of time for things to turn around. Let's just, she can start it here. Static gets worse with another split. What is that groovy little music in the background? Is that laser tag music? Yeah. Is it? Laser That's tag very music. space age, some sort of kitty techno thing going on there. Duran <laughs> Duran. That's a great segue, Brian. I'm gonna capitalize that after she makes this spare. Nope, never mind. I tried to talk her into that spare while well, it's just huge trouble right now. Durant a total wild card, much lower average. You never know. He's capable of getting that double like we saw earlier. He could go 4-3 like he did in a couple frames earlier in this step ladder. Speaking of Duran Duran, should Cesar win, he would join last year's winner on Sunday here, Isaac Duran, no relation. And it would be, in fact, Duran Duran. Isaac and his brother Nathan didn't do that well this time around, unfortunately. But uh, keeping the no relation to Rand name in the title matches here. Say they're part of the Las Cruces bunch. Brought a bunch up here today. This weekend, this will be the high finish out of any of them. And he's got that same tricky 1 3 6 9 to get out. Actually, easier for him with the straight ball. And he got it. Yeah. Yeah, on short, that's not easy. No. When they are tough, let alone short and tough, it favors a little bit the straight ball bowler or the lower average bowlers because they're just not as affected by, as much by the patterns. It doesn't matter if we put out shark or we put out wolf. That ball is going to go just like that down the lane. It's going to go wherever he happens to direct it. Conversely, the, uh, the bowlers who have some hook and have some hand rotation on it, they're more affected by the patterns. They're more able to outscore the straight ball bowlers when they're easy. But it's a little tougher on the hard, so all credit for Morgan for being the top seed on a pattern that's not necessarily conducive to it being so. There's a little love tap on the 10. A little slap out. She's still in it mentally. A little hero worship going on to our left here. Well, let's project good things for Ellis the rest of the way. She can strike out for a 193. That would give her some hope. What I'm saying is all these pins better fall right now. Yeah. Out of trouble. Out of trouble. Come on. That pocket looks real tiny for Morgan right now. You can get this Morgan. Makeable spare at least. 
Right now, Morgan's best hope is if uh, Isaac can trip over one of the rails, face plant on the couch, get <laughs> shot by one of the laser tag kids. <laughs> All those things would be about her only hope. Nice job with the spare, though. Yeah. Earlier in the handicap step ladder was Zach Harvey over Tori Salazar, and I have another uh, younger bowler making her first finals. And then it's been all Duran over Zach in round two, over Jacob Lucero, another little guy in round three. Jacob making both finals this weekend, the only one in the handicap division to do that, so he might have the uh, weekend warrior bonus too. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Duran coming up with his game of the day here. It's his second double of the match. Give me those scorecards, Ryan. Let's see how good this game is going to be. They're on the couch. On the kitchen. Another camouflage green card, green couch. I know it's just terrible. <laughs> this has a real good shot of being Jake. Jacob had on a 120. No, that's Jacob. Darn it. Saves her on a 115 average. He had a high game of 160 early today, so he's been bowling well all day. He's going to threaten 160 this game, even with that four count. 151, yeah, 44. If he makes it, it'll be over that, so great time to come up with your high game of the day here. Low game of 93, so he was all over the place. Coming up big when he needs it right here. This is a really, really tough spare. Many ways for a house ball to deflect off of that. That was one of them. Nonetheless, 154 through 9. He's getting 31s. That's 185 through 9. Morgan, it's, it's time to strike for show here. Seven pin, why? Why you seven pin? <laughs> need to see the soccer ball though. That's right, we got an appearance by the soccer ball. Well, no, which I still think she should have to punt down the lane, by the way. Ball. No, Kick no, ball or no, no, something. No, nope, soccer ball. Won't. Let's get it on camera just in case there. That's the soccer ball. Push, 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 push. Should have thrown the soccer ball. <laughs> oh well, hey, listen. This is still a great run for Ellis. Oh, I didn't mean... <laughs> Dad, take it over for me. Anyway, look, this is a great run for Morgan. First place out in Lubbock last month and a second place here. That's a whole boatload of points. Here comes the soccer ball as requested by Pop. Look at that ball. Stupid soccer ball. What are you throwing that for? <laughs> hey, get your spare. So these New Mexico, Texas bowlers will roll on to Invitational Weekend, the last regular season event coming up in June. It's Skids, that's with a capital Z if you're looking it up on your Google these days. Don't chop it, oh man. Just not to be in the title match this time for Ellis. <laughs> and a rookie bowler who had to get forced into bowling today by Mark. To literally drag him out of bed, he says. He's going to walk out of here with the title today. You are welcome, Cesar. <laughs> that's, that's between you and him. you got to work that out on the, 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 the back side there. So great job out of Duran. The Duran name keeps the title. It is letter. We'll give them their awards and do it all over again next week in Tucson and Yakima, right next door to each other. Uh, 163 scratch, that's a winner. Say, your, say thank you, Mark, on camera. There we go, we got it on camera. There we go.